So you and Jamie are back together already. That happened a lot quicker than I thought. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, like, I haven't... I've forgiven, but I've not forgotten yeah. what's happened. I, I wasn't ready to throw everything that we yeah. have away because we are really good together just for something that I have no idea the intentions or what the hell that message was. Do you know what I mean? Well, you both seem happy, <sighs> so... That means I'm happy, Liv's happy. You've got to do what you want to do, and I, no one else can sort of stop that or change that. And also, like, if I think he's going to cheat on you, I can't stop you from sort of making that mistake. He's going to be on extra good behaviour now, Harvey's around. It is. Hopefully it will keep Jamie on his toes. I'm actually going to meet Harvey, cos he asked to go for a drink. Oh, someone's got a date. <laughs> Checking in. It's like <laughs> rattling in yeah. it. Like, I, oh, no, no, you know why I love it? Because I think for so long, Jamie gets what he wants all the time, and having Harvey here, it obviously is going to be slightly threatening to him. It's good. Sounds like a good idea. Don't drink too much coffee, because you know what happens. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We'll see you guys later. Afternoon date, love it. It's not Joke. Enjoy. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Ah, good. good. Very good. Um, been, have you been enjoying it here mm, so far? What is that? It's mine, that's what it is. Oh, it's apple, that's what it can taste. Mm, yeah, I have it enjoyed it. Are you? Yeah. Um, I guess I want to talk to you about Jamie. I'm honestly coming to you as a friend that cares about you and knows you probably better than any friend. I just don't want you to start a future with a guy that I honestly don't think will ever make you happy. Well, I guess I'm just going on the fact that we're... we're I just... I do feel awkward talking to you about it. I know you don't find you it awkward, but I find it Our path only makes me care and know what's best for you. It's not just that text to that girl in Manchester, which has a clear ulterior motive, whether you can see it or not. What would you have done? Gone for a cup of tea? I don't think they probably would have met. I don't she know. I don't know. I'm never going to know. I'm not going All I'm saying, to know. I agree. All but I'm I saying is just decision, as long as you're comfortable so... that you don't think he's going to make that mistake again. And if that he, he does, do. then it's his loss. He's making you look like a mug. Well, I mean... I think you owe yourself and you have more self-worth than to keep falling back into a sort of narcissistic arms so are you sitting here being like, don't be with him? I really be careful, be... is what I'm saying. I be aware and be careful. confident in yourself that he's not going to make that decision, it's not that, me that being error again, his... because he, I personally think he will, fault. and his best mates think well, he will. What did you want to come out of this? Just to be more careful, to just be to wary. Just to tell me that everyone's talking about me and thinking that I look like a mum. I don't need to tell you that, because you know that's that. that's what you just did. Well, you know that, Sophie. No, I don't think my friends are think calling me a mum. Clearly. They sat with me and said, we're happy for you. Liv has sat with you and yeah. told you she's happy yeah. with you being with Jamie. That's clearly not the case. You look so patronising at me. Obviously, I'm not lying. She sat with me and told me that. Stop being naive. Look, I came here to try and sort this out and make it not awkward between us, but clearly it is awkward. And I, I think don't you've think... completely read this thing the whole the wrong way. So I think maybe you've delivered it in the wrong way. No, I haven't. You've... I'm just looking. The way I'm... I felt is that you've just belittled me, embarrassed me, Why? and made me feel Why? like all my friends are speaking about me. Fine, no cheers. Oh, thank Take you so much. Yes, if you need something else, let me know. Okay. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Are you okay? I don't really know. I've just got a lot going on. Okay, so, so what's the matter? Um, well, I spoke to Harvey and he was just like, basically, like, you open your eyes. Like, every single person around here, even Jamie's friends, are all like sort of laughing at you, thinking you look like a man. Harvey said that. Yeah. And, and Harvey's, you care for Harvey's opinion? Well, it's. Mm -hmm. Definitely resonated with me. Everyone is so, basically so... laughing and at me. But why do you care about their opinion? Why wouldn't I care? If everyone thinks I'm stupid. I then think, God, am I actually stupid? And then I'm thinking, am I just being one of those really naive girls who is just because I love you and I want to believe you, I'm ignoring something that is really black and white in front of me? 
I didn't, I didn't do anything. I'm trying to trust you because I love you and I'm trying to believe you because I want to believe Sophie, you. Sophie, I... But... but it's really challenging when I have all your best friends sitting there being like, God, she's an idiot. When everyone's literally like, fuck, I wish you wouldn't get back with him. God. It's really difficult and I'm literally thinking to myself, am I the only one who's not Sophie, seeing did I, did, Sophie, I know you want this relation to continue, but you don't trust me. I can't change that. I just have to prove to you. That's all I can do. But what frustrates me is that some random guy who's your ex feels the need to go and say that to you because he has a jealousy problem. And you get you get upset by it. I just I don't because want to do it. So what do you want as an outcome with this? I don't know. I'm confused. I obviously love you and want to be with you, but I don't think you can be in a relationship if you don't trust someone. Okay. Okay, guys. Jamie, you good? I see you, man. I see you. Um, hey, listen, I think we need to have a chat about certain situations. Okay, uh, so I gave you the benefit of the doubt, right? I, th I was like, you no, know, the guy's a nice guy, and I thought we were totally cool, and then what's happened is, is that I found out that it, obviously it's not cool, because you've been saying to her, I don't want you to run back into the arms of a narcissist, and that you saying to her that you, you're worried about her because you think, of course, I'm going to do it again, and I'm totally lying. How yeah. gives you the right <clears throat> to say that? I came to her as a best friend. Well, not as a best you're friend. Not as, as a best friend, um, As a friend. You're somebody that knows her better than you, better than all her friends have already said the same things to you, that, you know, you need to be wary. Jamie has a history of, you know, acting in certain ways. Have you, you mate, this... I don't know you, but Harvey, this, this is history, honestly... But this coming... history's bullshit. You don't know me. So I don't, but... So the, the, the history? OK, this is based so don't off use your that best friends, mate. You're commenting on our relationship, making her sad because you know that you can get under her skin. Because you know that. I think what made her upset was the text that you sent. OK, she left having a conversation with you, being upset because of you. Not because of me, because of you. Because of what I said. Because of what you said. Based on what you've done. Because you know how to make her upset. I honestly think you're here because you have ulterior motives. I think you do. Okay, and I, so think that you, I think that you have, you have something else you want to achieve. I don't know what it is. OK, so if, if my ulterior motive is what? To get her back? No, I don't think it's to get her back. I think so it's what's to, the other? What, I think, it's, I think it's you either get pleasure out of making her upset... Why would I get that? How does that Because maybe you're sense? jealous. I don't know, man. She was upset after our conversation because of, of, of your actions. Like, you know, when you sort of fucked up with Rosie, she came out to where I live and she was sort of messing with me, like, Jamie's done this, and she was sort of, like, looking to me for advice. And this is Harvey, fully... why are you telling me this? I'm, Again, you're maybe, feeding me information okay, that I think you, we need you to know get back to, I think we can get under my one. skin because that's what you're trying to do. You're I'm not trying getting to get under people's skin. skin. I and know you do that, what's you, good you, for her and what she deserves. Look, Harvey, we're both in Buenos Aires. It's a weird scenario. Let's just keep separate. I'll look after my girlfriend and it'll be totally fine, right? I'll see you later. All right, buddy.